Hi, my name is Jane Glover. I'm one of the endoscopy unit managers. Welcome to the endoscopy unit at Arrow Park Hospital. When you arrive, you will go to this window. Here, our receptionist will take your name, ask your address and your telephone number and confirm your GP details. You will then be asked to take a seat. One of our nurses will then call your name and take you into the interview room. We have four interview rooms. They are all the same. In the room, we will ask you some questions about your health, such as what medications you take. Do you have any allergies? Do you have any problems with your blood pressure? You will also be asked when you last ate or drank anything. This is to ensure that we have all the information needed to pass on to the endoscopist. We will also take a blood pressure reading and put a probe on your finger to monitor your pulse rate and your oxygen levels. This is so we know what is normal for you. We will then put a wristband on you. If you are having a lower GI procedure, then you will need to take bowel preparation. Please make sure you stay close to a toilet once you've taken this. You will receive instructions for this in the post. We will also advise on any dietary restrictions that you may need to follow. Please follow all these instructions carefully. It is really important that your bowel is clear so that we get really good views on the day. If you are having a gastroscopy procedure, you will be asked to take a seat in the reception area. If you are having a colonoscopy or a lower GI procedure, you will be taken to a changing area where you'll be asked to put on some shorts instead of your own underwear and you'll be given a hospital gown to wear. All your own belongings and clothes will stay with you throughout your stay and we will give you a bag to put them in. Please keep personal belongings to a minimum. Consent is a legal requirement. You will have been sent written information that will cover the benefits and the risks. You will go into an interview room with a nurse who will confirm that you understand what you are having done. You will have the opportunity to ask questions. You will be asked to confirm your consent for the procedure. In order to give valid consent, you need to be able to understand the information that has been given to you. If the nurse taking consent does not feel that you are able to understand the information being given to you, they may discuss this with the endoscopist. In these cases, it may be that you get seen in clinic instead, where a formal assessment of your mental capacity to consent is made in keeping with legal requirements. If you're having sedation for your test, then a nurse will put a cannula in your arm. This is a small needle that goes into your vein. Dependent upon the procedure that you are having, the endoscopist will give an appropriate amount of sedation. Sedation can be topped up for more prolonged procedures, dependent on your comfort and tolerance. If you do have sedation, it is important that you have somebody to come and collect you from the unit and to stay with you overnight. If this is not possible, then you can have the procedure without sedation or change your appointment to a day when you can be collected. The sedation will not put you to sleep, but it will make you feel more relaxed. Sometimes it can make you forget that you have had the procedure at all. This is called retrograde amnesia and it is common, so please don't worry. When it is time for your test, the nurse will come and collect you and take you into one of our rooms. We have six rooms in the unit, which all look very similar. In the room, there will be at least three people. One person is the endoscopist who will do your test, and there will be two nurses who will be looking after you. Some of our rooms have more complex equipment for procedures such as ERCP. This means there'll be more machinery in the room. We have something called a C-arm in this room, which allows us to take x-rays during your procedure. We will put you onto a trolley and you will have a probe put on your finger. If you are having sedation, you will have nasal specs applied and oxygen will go up your nose. We will then spray your throat for a gastroscopy and lie you down onto your side. We will then put a mouth guard into your mouth. This keeps your mouth open during the procedure and protects our camera and your teeth. If you are having sedation, the endoscopist will now give you some medication into the cannula to make you feel relaxed. When you are relaxed, the endoscopist will start the procedure. We do different procedures on this unit. These include ERCP, EUS, bronchoscopy, gastroscopy, colonoscopy and EBUS. We will show you what to expect with a gastroscopy and colonoscopy as these are our most common procedures. The nurses will be with you the entire time and will be looking after you. 
Once your procedure is finished, the nurses will take you into the recovery area. In recovery, you will have your blood pressure taken and a pulse oximeter will be put on your finger. You may feel a little drowsy. There is a toilet in the recovery area if you need it and there will be nurses in this room to look after you. When you are feeling okay and you feel ready to get up, if you have been changed into a gown, then you will go and get changed into your own clothes. We will then take you into the post-recovery area and you'll be given a hot drink of your choice and some biscuits. Once you have finished your drink and your relative has arrived to take you home, then you will be discharged. The nurse will take you into the discharge room and explain how the procedure has gone. They will give you a copy of the endoscopy report to take away with you and also an aftercare leaflet, which has a contact number on should you need it. You will have the opportunity to ask any questions at this point. If you have had sedation, you will need somebody to come and collect you and stay with you when you get home. If you haven't had sedation, then you are free to leave the unit on your own. We hope you have enjoyed your tour around our unit and we hope this makes your visit with us a little less stressful. Thanks for watching.